Okay, this is Nate with Stray Blogger, and I'm going to go over this article for people that like videos and listening to audio, and usually when I just talk about something, more, you know, more tips just come out of my mouth because I'm just going on the fly. So, um, this is about article marketing and that it still works. It works better now after the after Google's Panda update especially if you're doing your article marketing the right way and so like it says here article marketing is one of the best ways to get long-term traffic and income uh, what happens is most people don't do it right the main things people do wrong is that they they try to just hammer out you know like four or five hundred word articles the bare minimum to get accepted into easy articles and they're usually not that good um, now every article you know it doesn't have to be some long and painful process it doesn't need to take you a whole day to do one article um, it's base it's a learning curve like anything else and so if you'll just put in the time and effort to to get good at writing effective articles and to just basically figuring out article marketing as a traffic source and getting good at it learning what works to drive traffic what drives traffic to your opt-ins um, one of the main main benefits to easy articles that I didn't put in this post anywhere is that if you're writing a good article and well the main benefit is if it gets picked up and syndicated like somebody uh, that has a site or a list about that's in that same niche they'll pick up your article and they'll use it but you get so you get more backlinks and more traffic from all of their traffic so that's kind of the main that's the ultimate goal with easy articles um, not to mention just the you know the main the benefits that you get from from an SEO perspective and that's kind of what I'll go over in this in this video so here's one of the biggest things people do wrong they try to create informational or educational articles that give up so much information that people don't seek any more info from you um, they get everything they need from the article and so they don't feel compelled to click on your click on the link in your in your uh, author bio box or to look into the product or the service that you're promoting so if you give away everything in your articles there's no need for anyone to seek more info from you whether that's like I said visiting your blog or purchasing your products so here's here's the big key the main purpose of articles is to drive traffic to your opt-in page or your offer it is not to educate now you want the article to come across that you are trying to educate obviously um, you don't want your article to come across as you know a salesy or you know the, you don't want the whole the body of your article to seem like a, a sales presentation you do want to give away information but the point is to give away enough good information that people recognize your value and can see that you know what you're talking about but you withhold enough that they visit your site and opt into your autoresponder and so uh, yeah if you're reading between the lines the most effective thing you can do is send the traffic from your articles to your opt-in page that is the main thing that you want um, and on this link right here eye contact has a free version now if you haven't invested in an autoresponder yet um, so you can get started with that but you want to be collecting leads you, you don't want to just be sending traffic to an offer or even your own product page you want to get those leads into an autoresponder where you have like seven to ten messages um, that pre-sell the product or, or whatever it is you're promoting and that's when you're gonna see a lot of conversions um, you will get random sales every now and then if you're just sending traffic straight to an offer but it works much much better if you have if you're pre-selling those uh, prospects with a through an auto through autoresponder messages and not to mention you have that lead in your um, whatever you call it your your email program like Aweber or iContact and you can contact them over and over and over 
And so especially if you build enough of a relationship with them that they purchase something from you once, chances are they'll do it over and over again. As long as you, you know, continue to provide value and don't just hammer them with offers all the time. Okay, so uh, my kindergarten diagram here of how article marketing should work. So, okay, so you have your three articles here. Actually, for this, I'm going to zoom out one. There we go. You can see the whole thing now. You have your articles here, article number one, two, and three. And ideally, like I'll state later on, you want to have, like, for each niche site or whatever, you want to have at least 20 to 50 articles out there online. So anyways, you have your articles here and the bio box in each article. Um, search engines pick it up, spider it. Sorry, I missed... So the first step is you publish the article on your own site, okay? And then you have the articles on the directories like Ezine Articles, Go Articles, um, Buzzle, stuff like that. And the search engines see all this. They see that your site has the original content was, content was indexed first. So ideally, your site gets ranked first um, for the same keywords you're targeting in your articles. And if you've done your keyword research right, you found... Uh, you know what we call the money keywords then a lot of times you know your site will appear in the top 10 and then some of your articles from the directors will also appear in the top 10 which is pretty awesome I mean if you can hold more than one spot in the top 10 you'll be getting a lot of traffic so the traffic comes from the engines search engines and the articles to your site to your opt-in form and through your autoresponder messages to your offer that's kind of how it works so now I'll zoom back in um, so here's what the di well I basically just explained this. You publish the articles on your own site. You take the same article, don't change a word, publish it on Ezine articles. When it's been accepted by Ezine, then you take it and publish it to a bunch of other article directories. Then Google finds the article, sees your articles, point to your original article on your site, so your article on your site gets indexed first. That is what you want. You want your site your blog post coming up first in the search engines for the keywords obviously you do not want your easy article to rank above your own site so for this to work right you do need to do your keyword research correctly to find those money keywords um, if you don't know how to do this this is like it's the method from niche profit classroom if you're not making a thousand dollars a month yet online then um, niche profit classroom is hands down the best place for you to start. That's the best training program. You can quit buying other crappy programs. Um, Adam Short that does Niche Profit Classroom, he's legit and that's like all he does. He doesn't keep re-releasing you know products on like the Clickbank type products. All he does is Niche Profit Classroom. He works with his members. Anyways, um, so how to put together an effective article. First of all you want to write your articles in Microsoft Word, and I'll get why, I'll get to why to do that in a minute, or any word processing program. So each keyword or each article should target one main keyword or phrase. Then you take the keyword you want it in your title as close to the front as possible. So if your keyword was baby strollers, you could, you know, your title could be baby strollers. How to choose the right one, something like that. Keyword density, your keyword should appear in about 1-2% to 2 of the article. So for every 100 words, your keyword should appear at least once. And the number of words in your article, you should make each article at least 500 words. If you can, 750 is much better. Um, your call to action should be strong. That goes in your bio box. And a good bio box would look something like this. I want to send you an info-packed free report on baby strollers that I put together that you can get by clicking here. Um, you also want to link to just your home page. You can put two links in every bio box. Now, um, let's see. Like I said, you, you want an autoresponder. That's the bottom line. I'm trying to make this 10 minutes so I can put it on YouTube. Now, where to submit your articles? When it's approved by eZine, then you submit it to these other sites right here. Another good tip, you take that word processing document and you put the same bio box in it and then you submit it to scribe slide share issue and there's other document sharing sites but you can get a lot of traffic from these sites as well and if you like this post just leave a comment here and share it in facebook